Hi, my name is Kira Sievers, and I am a computer science major from the College of Engineering, and I focus on digital restoration in my research here at the University of Kentucky. So when I was a high school student and I was looking at prospective colleges, I came to UK and I had the opportunity to actually meet with Dr. Seals, and um, he told me about the research he was doing with the Dead Sea Scrolls. And it was just amazing to me that the work he was doing here was putting Kentucky on the map in a big way. Um, it was global work and it was impacting a lot of people. And it was not only computers for the sake of like improving computation, but it was making a real difference in our human history as a whole. It truly blew my mind and I really wanted to get involved as soon as possible. Almost a year ago, exactly, I went to Oxford with the team and it was a truly amazing experience because we actually got to present at University College where people like Stephen Hawking did their undergraduate degrees. And so to have that history behind you as we got to present our research there, um, truly amazing. So currently what we're doing is taking ancient manuscripts that are too broken or damaged to unwrap and read by hand and we're applying our own custom software to virtually unwrap them. And this is important because there's actually no physical handling, unwrapping, or any damage to the scroll or manuscript itself. So we can do this all with the computer and unveil the text inside that's been hidden for a very long time. And personally within that project, I'm working on making sure that our process is more user-friendly. Previously, it was very specialized, so only people with a lot of training could do it. And my goal is to make that so that any scholar who's interested in the project can sit down and with a little bit of training, go through the process themselves. The fact that I'm going into a field that has such broad implications on our world today. Applied computing and computer science, it really is our future. And there's so many different arenas in which it will affect people in the future. It's not narrow, it's really, really broad. I've met people who study papyrus for a living. And just to see their perspective and how our, our work is impacting them, it's been truly eye-opening and I'm, I'm really happy that that's the future of uh, my career and the future of our world as a whole. I'm from Lexington, Kentucky, born and raised, so um, it, UK is very much a part of my home. I actually did research in high school at UK, I was lucky enough to do that, and so I knew that the opportunities here at UK were ones for growth for me, um, and not just inside the classroom but outside of it, and I really knew what could potentially lie ahead for me and obviously continuing on that path has been just amazing for the opportunities I've been able to take advantage of and what's inspiring about it I think is that it is like the flagship state institution of Kentucky there's so many people doing so many different things to impact our state and make it a better place and just seeing all the different research that people can do on campus it, it really makes you feel like we have a bright future. The skills you learn when doing research not only help you better understand what you've learned in the classroom, but it also helps you get ahead. And then when you learn those topics in the classroom, you've already got a foundational knowledge for it and it only builds from there. I would highly, highly recommend the opportunity to anyone, regardless of your field, whether it's literature or computer science. Research has really changed my life and I think that it would change a lot of people's lives as well.